Hey guys, Ivan here and I have to start this video with a physique update of Petar Klancher. He looks absolutely amazing right now, one day out of Cali Pro and this year's California Pro is going to be a really good show. It is really competitive, like the entire top 6 is very close, those are all great bodybuilders. I think it's going to be more interesting, more exciting than Indie Pro or New York. And I'm really sad, I'm really sorry that Patrick Launcher didn't make it to New York Pro or Indy because he would have been a top contender and as far as California Pro, I have him winning this show. Now, yes, I am really excited about seeing him on stage finally because he's from around here, he's from Balkans, but other than that, also because he has such an aesthetic physique. Aesthetic, but also really, really big. He's really freaking massive. This physique, I mean, these kind of genetics remind me a little bit of Phil Heath. Let's say white version of Phil Heath, as round, as shapely, as bubbly as a white man can be. You know, Phil Heath is way too 3D, way too bubbly, but if, if Petter had a little bit more triceps, maybe a little bit more uh, shoulder rear, shoulder pop, and maybe a little bit more round legs, he would be there in the ballpark. So he does have that crazy shape, crazy roundness, and also like he's really wide, really big. Um, he looks like he's six foot three or something, but he's not. He just has really good proportions, and his head is really small compared to the rest of his body. So he looks like a legit freak and he will be compared to some of the top bodybuilders in the world right now Some of them have been top 10 at the Mr. Olympia And I'm thinking his biggest competition at this Cali Pro are going to be Charles Griffin and Mohamed Mo Shaban They are also gonna be Max Charles, Andrea Presti, Andrea Muzi and Theo Those guys are really high, high caliber bodybuilders, top level competitors and on any given day, they can win this show depending on how much are the other guys on or off. But looking at this photo right now of Petar, I honestly have him in top 3, possibly and hopefully, I really want to see him win this show, California Pro, because this physique, as Milo Sharchev says, deserves a Olympia qualification. He deserves to be on that stage with this kind of shape, with this kind of freaking look. I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, he is from Balkans, but I'm honestly in awe of this physique. This just made me go, wow, wow. I immediately, my first thought was, this is the Cali Pro winner, as I wrote in the comments here. Anyways, his main competition, the top dogs at this show, based on their previous performance, are gonna be Charles Griffin, Mohamed Shaban, Andrea Presti, and Max Charles. In my opinion, Petter is better, <laughs> that rhymes, then Andrea Presti and Max Charles, that's just my opinion based on what I saw so far, but beating Charles Griffin and Mohamed Shaban is going to be a challenge most certainly. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you guys, Old School Labs just came out with a new flavor of vintage brawn, this is obviously a protein powder, but not simply just whey protein powder, it is also beef isolate and egg white protein, so basically it's like a whole meal, but it is in powder form, it tastes amazing, so guys, if you wanna try out the new flavor, banana milkshake, use the link in the description of this video and use the code EVEN for a 12% discount. If you wanna support me and my channel, try it out. Now take a look at this comparison right here of Charles Griffin against Petter and uh, tell me what you see. Well, basically what you're gonna see is the big difference in shape. So genetically, muscle shape, muscle structure, bone or skeletal structure wise, Petter is far superior. If you look at, for example, the waist, the shape of the abs, the shape of the quads, the shape of the arms, uh, the way they flow with shoulders, with chest, uh, the size of the of the torso compared to the size of the legs, the length of the bones, everything is definitely uh, by far much better on Petter. But is Petter going to be this hard, this lean? This gnarly, grainy, it looks like Charles Griffin improved quite a bit from that indie pro. He looks bigger, better, harder because he's in better condition and he didn't lose any size. Matt Jensen, his coach and Charles made a good job since that indie pro, they definitely improved his physique quite a bit. And I know Max has a pretty bad structure, like very wide waist, poorly shaped quads, 
he does have quite a few shortcomings, but you cannot ignore this guy, you cannot deny him. He does come shredded, peeled, hard, detailed, and everything like that. And if he does that, if he's much more, uh, much harder, much more conditioned than Petar, then he deserves to win this show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And, you know, objectively speaking, that's most likely going to be the case, but I personally would prefer to see a physique that looks like Petar more on that stage than a physique that looks like Charles. But maybe Petter's structure is not going to be enough. Maybe Charles Griffin's work ethics and uh, years of persistence are going to pay off and he's going to win this California Pro. I mean, he does look amazing. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. It's going to be definitely a very interesting comparison between these two guys. But based on their previous performance, Mo Shaban should probably be the top contender to win this show. So do I have him winning this show? Well, I don't know. Based on this video, he doesn't really look as big as he looked last year. And, you know, when guys are downsized, they might be downsized because they're going to be more conditioned. But he doesn't really seem super dry. I mean, look at the lower back. That's where he holds the most amount of fat, obviously. And hamstrings too, maybe a little bit glutes. And you can see that this is not completely leaned out area. I don't know how Petter looks in this area, but Mo Shaban doesn't really look super dry. This is, however, his trouble area, and without it being shredded, he hit it well before. His legs are definitely his best body part, really freaky legs like most Egyptians, and they are shredded. Look at the feathers on these quads. People are saying that he's using oil like a Big Remy, like Hassan Mustafa, all those guys have massive quads. But this doesn't really look like oil, because his quads are really separated. Now, his upper body is what, is what looks troublesome to me. Maybe he was just simply very depleted here, very flat. And when you have really dominant legs like this, when he pumps them up, even when he doesn't pump them up, when he is walking around simply, or eating a certain amount of carbs, those legs draw the, the most glycogen, the most blood... And so his upper body looks uh, flat, depleted, and when he's fully carved up, it's going to look bigger. And when he carves up also, when his muscle is finally full and it stretches the skin and he is completely dehydrated, maybe his back is going to look drier as well. But, I mean, does he look like he's in shape? He looks like he's in decent shape. This guy is a former Olympian, I believe he competed at Mr. Olympia in 2018, correct me if I'm wrong, but he won multiple pro shows, so he's probably the top dog here uh, along with Charles Griffin, but honestly, I really hope Petter is going to come through and make this his breakthrough show or breakthrough year, but even top 3 at this show is going to be a crazy result, and it's going to put him up there on the map. By the way, this guy is a vegetarian, he doesn't eat meat, he eats fish and dairy, but he doesn't eat meat, and for a while there he was a vegan. So uh, he, he probably would look even better if he didn't have that period and if he was eating meat, I don't know, maybe not, but uh, it is what it is, I mean, he looks amazing right now and uh, I can't wait to see him on stage, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people, he's not really that well known right now, but here on Balkans, right now he's a superstar and we are all really excited, anxious and can't wait to see him compared to the top guys and hopefully he will qualify because as Miller says, he deserves to be on Mr. Olympia stage. Alright, next we have Phil Heath, and I'm seriously wondering what are his plans. Until this day, nobody has an idea, and what we can see on his social media is that he keeps improving. Every time we see him, he looks bigger, more impressive. Look at the freaking guy here, I mean, look at the size of his, of his chest, of his arms, and basically there is no indication that this is a throwback. Uh, we've seen a lot of other updates and he does look really massive. Here obviously he has a good pump and the lighting here is really flattering, but he does look really amazing. And what I've said before, I still mean it, if he wasn't competing, he would not look this big. So I still do believe we will see him on stage at least once again. This freaking most muscular, it looks absolutely insane. He looks better than most top 10 Olympia guys uh, right now in, the, in their offseason. So I don't know what his plans are, is he just trying to shame the other guys being retired and looking better than most of them? 
we still can't really see him in poses, you know, with his stomach, but in this most muscular, he does look really, really massive, and I think he'll compete again. Hari Japan looks like a freaking monster right now, and this guy might win the Mr. Olympia. I can't say that this is not possible. Uh, look at this freaking monster right here. So it looks like he is growing, he's improving. Uh, his best peak ever was Vancouver Pro, but since that day, it looks like he gained a lot of muscle. Not the biggest guy necessarily, not the widest, not the tallest, but for his frame, he packs a ton of muscle and he does have that crazy maturity, crazy conditioning, really good abdominal control, he can pull a vacuum and really small waist. Uh, it wouldn't be a surprise seeing this guy win this year, especially now after Big Remy messed it up with Jim Mannion. I don't know if politics will affect his placement, but you know, Hadi is looking really good and that's all I'm gonna say here. Since we are speaking about the guys who are not competing exactly this weekend, not necessarily active bodybuilders, I'm gonna have to mention Justin Rodriguez, because this guy, you know, he's not gonna be doing California Pro, Puerto Rico Pro, Orlando, whatever, he is gonna have a pause right now, he will stop competing for a while. As you guys probably heard already, Justin Rodriguez stopped working with AJ Sims, I think uh, after Indie Pro, before New York, somewhere around that time, and uh, him and AJ Sims, they brought together some really good packages, like last year and even this year at, at Arnold, let's say at Boston, his Boston Pro Edition was really good, but they messed it up completely for Indy and New York, and maybe that, maybe Justin was not happy with that, and he stopped working with AJ Sims. So now he started working with George Farah, who brought an amazing look with the uh, with blessing of Oribu. So when I saw when I when blessing won and he showed up like that, I said blessing proved to us that he is a high caliber bodybuilder, but also George Farah proved to us that he's still a very high caliber coach. And apparently, guys are already starting to work with him. Justin Rodriguez just started working with George Farah. So they're gonna take uh, some time off. I think his next stop, as he says, is Mr. Olympia. But before then, he's not gonna be competing. He has a lot of points. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to get a qualification, to actually get to the Mr. Olympia. But even if he doesn't, there are a lot of good shows after Mr. Olympia. So he can do one of those and win. If he's on, he can win many pro shows and he can get his Mr. Olympia qualification. Last year he was 8th. Can he do better than that? I don't know. It's look, it looks like his physique is on a down path. I'm not sure. Maybe he's going to improve. We'll see next year or later this year. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.